like this. This is um, an ancient village site of our people. We are being asked by the RCMP to remove ourselves. And they're saying that because they know our plans to wanting to put it on the Trans Mountain Pipeline, they say that they're going to take the tiny houses, which our human rights observers and watchdog have al already told us done, that it's a war crime. It's a war crime on our a people. A war crime. Look at the guy go over here. And it isn't, it isn't surprising to me. It's not surprising to me because because there is Nazis here. Yeah. They actually gave enormous land grants of hundreds of acres to each Nazi that was yeah. living in this territory after they released them after well, World okay War II. Jews because of brown eyes, brown so hair. these are Jew killers that live here in Clearwater. They're all Nazi, Nazi white supremacists. They were given enormous land grants after World War II and they had a choice. Go back to Germany, to their war-torn country, or stay here in our beautiful Sikwamuk who can get hundreds of acres free of stolen Sikwamuk land. This is the crime that is happening here today. This is a war crime. And the world will see this as the same as a white man owning a black man for a slave. A white man owning a black man as a slave. A white man owning a black man is a slave. No, I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about us as indigenous people. That these laws, these land laws are just as racist. They're just as racist as a white man owning a black man for a slave. That's how racist Canada is. <laughs> Canada's land laws are as racist as a white man owning a black man for a slave. That's how racist these laws are. That's how racist these laws are.